And we've been looking really at trying to understand how to deliver drugs to the brain. It's a problem that has affected neurosurgeons for a number of years because our brain, we're quite lucky in some respect, it has something called a blood-brain barrier. And that stops any toxins or any nasty bugs going up to the brain. But the idea is that you have a disease of the brain, the best way to treat it is to get drugs directly into your brain. So we have been working on a catheter design. We have tested this catheter in small animals and in large animals to get the best out of these catheters. So these catheters are very fine and they give deliver, uh, deliver through a sub millimetre, half a millimetre wide catheter directly to discrete areas in the brain. And the catheter is um, made of carbothane, a material that doesn't block. And we have tested in the large animal to make sure that that catheter hasn't blocked. So the catheter is inserted into the brain under, under surgery. And then a uh, guide and um, guide tubing is connected to a port. And that port is based on a hearing aid. So it's integrated just like a hearing aid behind the ear. But then this allows the patient to go home, come back in four weeks later, sit in a chair just like myself here today and have their treatment infused into the brain via our tubes, our catheter system, to be able to have their treatment. And this allows the patient to have a good quality of life whilst then coming back and having its treatment for either Parkinson's or for oncology. If you're unlucky enough to have a glioblastoma, a GBM as an adult, the options are for removal of your uh, tumour, resection, and then you could have, you were offered then radiotherapy and systemic drugs. The problem being with systemic drugs is that they're delivered through the system and in theory to be able to go around the body and then also affect the tumour area. But this reduces the amount of drug in contact with the ever-growing tumour. Whereas if you have a tumour that's been resected and you have a potential catheter system, a tube, directly in the area, penumbra of your tumour, you can directly target drugs. And for children, uh, so they either have brain tumours that are non-operable in a really discrete area in the brain stem, which unfortunately, if you diagnose with you have no options to be able to remove it by surgery. It's too difficult. It's by a place called the nerve, optic nerve, and it's deemed to be too severe to have a surgery and removal. But using our catheter systems, we have the ability to be able to deliver to discrete area and local chemotherapy that will be able to halt the progression of the tumour doesn't have the nasty side effects like systemic like feel of, of losing hair and just because it's not going around the rest of the body it's only really localized and trapped in the brain